Hey, hey, is anybody home today? It is, hey, hey, it's the raw soup of the day. Bam, what are you doing? Let me know if you're home, I was gonna say hey, but I wanted to show you this quick recipe for a mushroom walnut soup. It is lower fat, raw vegan, no duh, right? Also, this could be a great sauce over, let's just say you're cooking your family some noodles tonight and you're making yourself some raw noodles or you're doing half and half raw noodles and noodles and then you're using this as a sauce so it's going to depend on how much water you put in there whether it turns into a sauce or a soup look at this decadent and delicious i am not even playing okay so let me tell you what goes into this and um we're going to start having some videos where we're blending together in the kitchen and we'll do it pretty soon i promise really we will so what we're going to do is in your high speed blender you're going to add in some water now i just told you depending on if you're going to want to make this thicker or thinner for soup or sauce will depend on how much water so let's just start out with let's say about a cup in there put a cup of water pure water of course you are going to have soaked and drained a quarter cup of raw walnuts you're going to soak those for a couple of hours just put them in the soak at night or in the morning come back later you're not having to stand there and say are you ready yet do something else you know so it makes it get streamlined with the thing you know i usually have some nuts soaking in the fridge that way they'll be ready for me when i'm ready for them you know but uh, uh maybe a day or two ahead max anyway a quarter cup raw walnuts you're going to soak and drain those add those on in to your about one cup of water okay then we're going to put in one cup of baby bella mushrooms those are baby portamella mushrooms can you eat this raw yes you can there are a couple of types of mushrooms that you should not eat raw but there are a lot that you can get your shroom on will you so a quarter cup going in there then we had about one let's see what else we had one lemon medium very juicy lemon squeezed in there just the lemon juice then i had um a little bit of dill that went in just dill to taste what else did i put in there it was very simple ingredients um okay if you want to make it a little bit thicker this is a great way to make it a very creamy almost like a an alfredo type of density add in one tablespoon of lacuma powder that is a fruit from peru that is dried at low temperatures and um, then ground into a pattern it can thicken up soups or sauces and it's also very low glycemic but this does not have that in there but i wanted to mention that in case you have that on hand um, but what I do have in here are two small dates blended up to give it a flavor balance of a little bit of sweet. Okay, hello, friends. So anyway, you're going to blend all that up smooth and creamy. Then when it's all smooth and creamy, I want you to pulse add in at the end about one tablespoon of dulse leaves. That is to give a little bit of salt. You could use wakame seaweed. You could use a little bit of um, Himalayan sea salt if you, you eat salt, but I do not. Um, you could also do about one stalk of celery, but that's going to kind of change the dynamics of this recipe. So let's veer away from that. But anyway, um, you're going to pulse that in at the end because you want it to remain this creamy tone and not like a sort of light violet look. That's not what we're looking for because it can make the soup look sort of gray. So anyway, you add all that in, blend a smooth, then you add your little bit of dull sleeves in, then you're going to pour this in the bowl. When it's in the blender, if you're using lacuma powder, what you want to do is kind of give it a little bit to set up and then go back and see, like give it about five minutes, walk away from the blender, come back and do a stir and see if it's too thick or you need to add a little water or not because that tends to thicken up a little bit as time goes on. Anyway, you're going to pour this into the bowl. Then on top, I have just a little bit of very, uh, let me turn you around. Very simple uh, Italian spices on there. We have some sunflower microgreens. We have a little bit more of the portobello baby bella mushrooms and my other tablespoon of dull sleeves, which is what I get every day. So this is what we're gonna have. And um, I want you to see how creamy it is. Do you wanna see like, it's really, look at that. It's, it really is like a mushroom, creamy mushroom soup or a mushroom sauce do you see now this is just room temp and i'm going to have this later but you could also blend this up warm to touch in your high speed blender what do y'all think doesn't this dome doesn't this look creamy and delicious and there you have the recipe right there on the back of a bill i'm so professional <laughs> 
what do y'all think? It's as easy as that, and when you really get, this is a great way, obviously, to stretch your fat. Now, walnuts, of course, have omega-3 fatty acids in there with some omega-6. They're a great balance, really they are. So this is a great way to get your healthy plant fat in. Just as much as you need, everything you need, and not more, and nothing you don't, right? So anyway, um, I mean, you could add this, you could change this flavor too. You could add in tomatoes. You could pour it over the noodles, like I said. Um, you, this would also be good if you eat rice or grains. It would be good, it would make like a, um, I must think like a creamy, isn't that like a risotto type of a creamed type rice, but it would be good on that. But let's say your family or your loved ones or your mommy, whoever, she's a loved one. See, that didn't come out right. Careful with your words, little bitty. So anyway, let's say you're, the people are eating your food, you're serving them up. <laughs> let's say they don't eat raw food, but you do. This is a great way to incorporate your food and their food and spread it all around. Maybe they're having Angus beef burgers. I don't know what they're doing. Do your thing and let live, okay? Because you're not going to change the existence of other people serving them up a really sour attitude. Now, if you serve it up with love, they might talk. So let's say you have this and maybe they have their Angus beef burgers on their big bun. And then you've got this like drizzled on top for a cream sauce, right? Or maybe they're having, they're having skeddy noodles and you've got this on top. Come on, like spreading the love around. What do y'all think? Does anybody have anything to say about that? Oh, hello, so dark. What do you think? Hello. Why are you eating so very low fat? My hormones, uh, I can't say, let's see. Don't work well, 70% fat. You know, I think it de depends on the person. It varies a little bit. Uh, I usually try to keep mine about nine to say 11, 12%. A little bit more some days, a little bit less other days, but this is how it works for me best. And in my case, calories matter. Fat has more calories and um, it's not always, you know, calories in, calories out. I do realize that, but you can eat too much food, really you can. And I like to fit in all my pants, you know? <laughs> anyway, so, and two, I think I just feel light and free, you know, and I, I have a little bit of chia seeds through the day or a little bit of ground flax seeds. You know, you have to grind those when you're ready to eat them. Buy them organic and raw whole. Grind them right before you eat them. That way they don't become rancid and you don't lose any of the nutrients of the healthy plant fat. Have a little bit of those in your smoothies, or maybe a smoothie bowl or whatever you're doing. Maybe you have a little banana and microgreens and you're dipping in a little cheese. I could see it now. Almost like a banana. It will be like a popsicle dipped into the flax seed. You have a little coating on the end. I can see you now. And you're just, <laughs> it's like a banana pop, you know? <laughs> with microgreens on the side. Like it all depends on how you look at it, right? Of what you're excited about, really it does. So um, anyway, I have an exciting video up on Insta Stories Live if you wanna check that out. And um, you know, so dark, I wanna, I wanna think you're a dude, that's correct. And I really do think it varies. Um, and some people need more calories than others. Some people can function on a little more fat than others. I never think a, a really high fat diet is good for longevity. For And you, you can even see some raw foodists that over the years have actually had a heart attack from eating too much, let's say omega-6 and let's say, um, I don't know, well that would be to the vegans, but processed vegan, you know, it's really a problem. But now you can really get your creamy on with this. Do you all? Do you see those little air bubbles too? Let me tell you a trick. If you um you get it blended smooth and maybe you want to blend it warm to touch, right? And I told you in yesterday's video how to do that. Signal not found. I, we were going to hear a song. What does that mean? How? My monitor. There it is. I have a problem with technology, did y'all know? Anyway, so what I was gonna say is if you kick it down to a, you wanna taste test, Renata? Kick it down to a very low roll, okay? And so it kinda lets the air bubbles sort of churn out. 
then pour it in there. And a lot of times if you want it to be picture worthy and it still has a little air bubbles, you want to give it a little sprinkle on top of a little, little herbs or spices. That's what you do. And then you can't see a dang air bubble. Nairn the air bubble, huh? <laughs> Let's have a taste test and a song and get on with this day. I am going down for a hike down at the river. Yes, I am. And then I'm going to be looking for my man who is in Paris, sending me the pictures of himself by the, the Tower of the Eiffel or such, you know? Anyway, it's, it'll be great. Let's have a taste test of this, and it's very creamy. Let's not drip. Mm, look it. That is very delicious. Now, see, if you wanted to add more walnuts in there, you could, or put some on top if you want a little higher fat. Um, or let's say you're intermittent fasting, and you're a person who does have more fat in their diet because you're wanting to do, say you're doing OMAD, for example. Okay, well, good luck with eating one meal, trying to get in all the low-fat, raw, vegan, super fibrous foods with almost, I mean, you're either going to have to have a lot of, like, dried fruit. You can only fit so much in your tummy. I mean, maybe you're a magician. I don't know, but, so maybe you want to add a little more fat. I'm not sure what you're doing. We could talk about all the things. There's lots of ways to do it. Really, there is. Right? The Tower of the Eiffel. That's correct, right? It's really difficult. Oh, mad, that's one meal a day. Okay. Hello, sir. What are you doing? I'm going to pick up my shoes and a piece of technology so I can head up there. Come here. Hang on one second. I have a new book, did you know? Let me show you. Huh? It's a real life book. Like, I have it in my hand. You see it, huh? Look. Look it. Ah. Then I decided I really didn't love that picture of myself because it looks like I don't have a neck. Look. It looks like I'm, an, I'm a necklace turtle. Like, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it will be available soon on tannyraw.com in ebook form or Amazon. In book form. Yes, it will. Are you talking about the new book? Uh, yes, I am. Hello. Hello, everyone. Buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher thinks the more books you buy, the less rent he pays. That's exactly what I think. <laughs> anyway, let's have a song. We've had a recipe. We've had a taste test. Now, if we have a song, what more do you need? It's everything you need. Maritza said hi. Maritza said hi, Christopher. It's Maritza, not Marissa. Not. No, it that is not the same thing, and she will tell you something. Okay, tell her to follow me on Instagram so she can tell me. <laughs> My son up in his Instagram page. <laughs> things I deal with, the men in my life. <laughs> Paige, what are you doing, beautiful? If you're in my raw reset, start knocking, because we're coming in soon, and it is next level. Do you hear me? We are up in our game. I have so many things planned that don't be afraid. Just breathe, you know? What do you think? Love you never see, woman. I love you. I will see you later, alligators. <laughs> Bye.